Hello all you tokusatsu lovers out there, I'm Dylan, and I'm Lucas, and we are the Kaiju Vaults. When people think of Godzilla, the two major things the average person thinks is huge and fire breathing. One of those are true. He's consistently huge, but does he actually breathe fire? No. He does shoot something, however. Enter his trademark atomic beam. One obvious trait is its color. It has been white, blue, red, orange, and now purple. So that being said, I propose the two questions. How powerful is it, and which incarnation is the most powerful? Alright, so let's start with the obvious choice, which is 1954. He seems to be weaker on the list we will show, but still, it's been shown to be hot enough to melt metal. In other words, it is well over 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn! Yes, indeed he do. How about Daisu Goji? Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Destroyer was most likely the hottest in temperature. He's called Burning Godzilla for a reason, right? <laughs> the Red Spiral Ray was hot enough to melt through the NT-1 armor of Mechagodzilla which was designed to not only counter, but also absorb Godzilla's atomic breath. It's also so damn badass looking. True, but how is it compared to Maya Goji? Honestly? Preferably. I try. Anyway, I know I'll get hate for this, but it doesn't strike me as that powerful. It completely wrecked Orga. Yes, that's true, but from the inside. There may be no way to tell how durable Orga is inside, but I'd imagine he's just a big ol' softy. What about Godzilla from the Roller Ep- Nope! But Zilla Jr.? Nope, negatory, no way, nuh -uh. Okay, how about GMK? Well, he made a mushroom cloud with his atomic beam, so I'd say pretty damn strong. And the superior American Godzilla from 2014? Good question. I'm not sure exactly where to stand on this one. Possibly a tad stronger than 1954. Finally, we have Shin Gojira. Okay, this is the true powerhouse of the nuclear beam. It makes no goddamn sense, but it's essentially a frickin' laser he shoots from his frickin' head. And tail. And back. Yeah, so what's the deal with that? Another theory, Lucas. Another theory. Speaking of theories, I know you have a theory on how Godzilla even does all this. Yes, that is true. The nuclear reactor organ? Yep, it goes as follows. Godzilla's nuclear reactor organ, as I'm going to call it, is powered by his spines, which respond to ambient radiation in the air. By glowing, be it blue, red, white, orange, or now purple, signifies if it is currently active or not. Obviously, as we've all seen, because once he starts to glow the spines, Usually a nuclear blast follows. The organ, I believe, is located along the spinal column and exits out the trachea, allowing Godzilla to breathe his trademark atomic blast of... Ultra! Destruction. This leads further into if Godzilla were to charge longer, the power level would be well over 9,000. How has the world not blown up yet, from Godzilla's flaring his laser? No idea, honestly. Yes, well, anyway, let us know in the comment section what you think of the nuclear reactor organ. Also, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, rate, share, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. This is the Kaiju Vault, signing out.